We begin with a police involved shooting in south suburban Markham, where an officer shot a man armed with two knives at a trucking company. WGN's Mike Lowe is live in Markham with the latest on that. Hi, Mike. Micah and Patrick, good evening to both of you. The man was an employee at this trucking company behind me. He was taken in critical condition to Advocate Christ Medical Center. And I heard gunshots around in the neighborhood. Witness Nicole Brown says gunfire rang out just before 8 o'clock this morning. They was right across the street from me in the um, trucking company. A man in the parking lot of freight shipping company DVL Express on Dixie Highway and Bulger Avenue had just been shot by a Markham police officer. Uh, we received a dispatch call of a subject in distress uh, from all accounts, uh, possibly suicidal, we don't know yet. Uh, the story is still unfolding. Uh, we arrived. Uh, the subject was armed with uh, two knives. Uh, he was physically uh, harming himself as well, and then he approached the officer in a threatening manner, and subsequently our officer took fire. The police shooting comes in the context of a national discussion on police use of force and a worldwide movement calling for racial justice. Yet again, there is another police involved shooting here. Police accountability activist Eric Russell says the shooting at DVL involved a white female officer and a black man. But in this case, he says the key question isn't race, it's whether armed officers should be responding to situations in which people are enduring mental health episodes. Black lives and mental crisis matters. It appears the man who was shot was a DVL employee, though the company did not confirm that and did not respond to our request for information. The police chief says he survived and is receiving medical treatment. The uh, subject in this system was uh, transported to the hospital uh, for his injuries. And Markham police say they continue to investigate this situation. Meantime, the officer who fired her gun was placed on administrative leave, and the Illinois State Police is now investigating whether or not the use of force was justified. Reporting in Markham, Mike Lowe, WGN News.